and welcome back to Puzzle Masters Puzzle Insider. I'm your host Greg from Puzzle Wonder, and in this series we bring you the hottest news from the ever-expanding world of puzzles. Free the Peg, the first puzzle from MW Puzzles, started as a puzzle for friends and family as a sword in stone concept, but changed to a peg after Matt, the designer of MW Puzzles, discovered that there are other puzzles with the same theme. After Free the Peg was featured on Mr. Puzzles channel, got high praise and made a big impact. And the next puzzle from Matt is coming soon. Its name is the Penny Pincher. I've got some information about it today, but before that, let's get to know Matt Williams from MW Puzzles. Matt is a toolmaker with deep understanding of how things work. Big football fan following Aston Villa and Formula One. He's pretty new to the puzzle world. After seeing Mr. Puzzle videos, he got hooked to high quality puzzles. His favorite puzzle is the Lotus by Will Stribus, which also was the first puzzle to inspire him. His style is all about quality, precision and uniqueness. My puzzle design is to focus on quality and precision. All of my puzzles will be able to be solved logically without any luck or force element needed. I would like to think of my designs as unique and well-crafted and spend many hours developing and testing concept before bringing them to market. The Penny Pincher is now in production, which is the second puzzle from Matthew Williams. I can't sadly show you the puzzle itself. The puzzle itself is black it has a logo of the penny pincher on the side it has a brass circle on top looks like a button but i can't really say and on the side it has a large bump large circle bump with a notch on top and inside this bump there is something that looks like a penny i guess that is the penny you have to to get out of the puzzle but it's also made of brass and it looks like on the side it has a peg like in three the peg but i am not Sure. Overall looks very mysterious and cool and I would like to try this out myself. <laughs> this puzzle is a sequential discovery puzzle with a tricky but fun solve of a similar size and look of 3 the pack. The long term goals is to make production cheaper so they can make the puzzle in a more affordable price. They want everyone who wants the puzzle to be able to buy it. They are trying to produce this puzzle in higher quantities than today because he's an amazing puzzle designer for collectors sells his puzzles at really reasonable prices even low prices for the quality if i may add also got a recent new batch of puzzles his name is stefan baumager and facebook he is called puzzle leisure you probably know stefan baumager from his renowned puzzles excalibur the monsters burr almost no one was able to solve on the internet other than mr puzzle did christianity solve it in the end i don't remember and taurus hammer which is also a monster Monsters bar puzzle. Most of his puzzles are themed in very nice themes, which is amazing to see. I asked him just some random questions for entertainment. <laughs> Did you ever try solving Excalibur without Bertol? Keep in mind, this is one of the hardest bar puzzles in the world. Turns out that when he made bigger batches of Excalibur, he was able to assemble it without Bertol. For those of you who don't know, Bertol is a program that helps you to assemble birds. So at the moment he isn't able to do it with Excalibur because that requires insane memorization skills. We haven't seen any sequential discovery puzzles from you in a while. Are there plans for new ones? Uh, that's true, the last one was uh, Cosker Cave Box, but there is only one copy. So less fun for all. I'm in prototyping process for a new sequential discovery puzzle. When I'm lucky and all will work like I thought, it might come in the end of the year. So that's cool news. How do you find theme ideas for your bird puzzles? So that changes. Sometimes he has a concrete idea and he tries to get it done in a bird shape. Sometimes the idea is growing during working with the shaping bird tools. Stefan is a really skilled wood turner. So also he tries to use his skills in wood turning to make unique shapes like the whole grail. What is the design you're most proud of? Each time is a great feeling when the latest idea gets real and you hold it in your hands. There are various things to be proud of when I am able to get a high level for a simple birth. That's marvelous. If a puzzle like Excalibur gets viral with YouTube videos, that is sensational. For my packing puzzle Sphere, I am really proud. It has all I want for a puzzle. This is the Sphere's puzzle. Um, the goal is to pack all the pieces inside and it's extremely extremely beautiful has wooden pieces and also has amazing looking marbles inside i actually agree that this puzzle is one of the prettiest puzzles i have in my collection and 
is indeed amazing, both puzzling wise and looks wise. Thank you very much, Stefan, and let's move on to the next article. I recently developed curiosity to a type of puzzle I never liked, due to the science behind it. These are wire puzzles and rope puzzles. They look impossible to solve due to the structure, but if manipulated in a specific way, they can be taken apart. One of the ways to solve these puzzles is based on topology. This is a branch in mathematics that has to do with the shape of things and how many holes it has and so on and so forth. Sadly, even after watching numerous videos about the topic, I can't really explain it both because I'm not native and because it's so complex, but there are people that can actually use topology to solve and analyze this kind of puzzles, which is mind-blowing to me and I would really like to get to this level. And this actually makes these puzzles even more fascinating to me because I have no clue about them. I find that one of the most interesting parts in puzzle solving is getting from the point where you have no clue about a puzzle to the point that you understand how the puzzle works. Do you like wire puzzles? Let us know in the comments and also feel free to say the names of which puzzles from this type you like to solve. I hope that this will be helpful to everyone in this community. And let's move on to the designer of the month. A young designer from the UK has been 3D printing from the age of 12. Lately got into puzzle design around 10 months ago. His favorite puzzle is the boxing kangaroo from Karakuri. He got inspired by puzzles on Chris Ramsey's channel, started playing ideas and spent hours implementing them. This is Elamite Prince. He's been making a large variety of puzzles lately, started with some symmetry puzzles, and then started to develop into more unique sequential discovery puzzles like the Poseidon vault which got really high praises and also the crane puzzle which is uh, just something i never saw before so that is actually extremely cool upcoming plans a set of three sequential discovery puzzles that use tools from former puzzles in the series there will also be a storyline with videos and sd cards between the puzzle the first puzzle will weigh almost one pound will be made from brass and aluminum currently it's called the chill pill now, i am extremely looking forward to see this series of puzzles from having a talk with Elamite Prince really seems like this guy has a lot of enthusiasm to puzzle creation and puzzle design. His creations are extremely unique and he also wants them to be as unique as possible because that's part of this design ideas. My favorite thing about Elamite is that he is very brave and is not afraid to try new things. That is something super important in my opinion in designing new puzzles. Nowadays there are a lot of puzzle types that work and you can kind of take the concept and implement it on your puzzle. Now I don't know how Elamite Prince does it but it seems like his puzzles use completely original concepts which is pretty rare nowadays especially as the puzzle world is so big and so many ideas have been already. There's a good word for this. Exhausted. It's cool that Elamites brings his own ideas to the table. Hopefully other designers can also learn from him and take these ideas, their puzzles. Let's move on to the creator of the month. This guy you probably heard of because he's a very very long time YouTuber. Ken Chris Solve, now called Cuberly. His name is Chris Harrison. Is 25 years old from Manchester, UK. In his spare time, he plays some music, also uses his own music for videos actually, and learns to speak modern Greek. The reason why I really wanted Chris to be in this puzzle insider edition is because he took a one year break from YouTube. And I was really curious why he did that and how he feels now that he's back. According to Chris, his job was very demanding and required a lot of creativity and exhausted him. He didn't have the powers to produce videos. Now he has a more relaxed job so he can resume making videos again, which is awesome for everyone. One of the best things about Cuberly or Can't Resolve is that he is very laid back. The content is very chill, it is very peaceful and Chris overall feels free in front of a camera. His favorite puzzle YouTuber is Oscar Van Deventer. In YouTube he is called Oscar Puzzles where he shares his newest puzzle creation. His inspiration is Red KB, Unbox Therapy and Chris Ramsey. Each of them give a slightly different aspect to Chris's channel. For example, Red KB is all about twisty puzzles, while Chris Ramsey is more artistically inspiring. Another huge fan of puzzles that don't have a logical sequence or an element of discovery. For example, I don't really consider some of the Hanayama puzzles to be puzzles because to solve them you just have to discover or accidentally stumble upon the puzzles gimmick. My least favorite is probably the cast marble which took me about a minute to solve. My favorite puzzle would have to be the treasure chest puzzle box by JP. I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan which is the inspiration for this puzzle and it has a unique solution that was really 
satisfying and fun to solve. I also, of course, love the Rubik's Cube, which started my love for puzzles. And let's move on to the feature puzzle of the month. This will be quite interesting as we've interviewed this puzzle designer in the first episode in the first interview in Puzzle Insider ever. And this is Felix Ewer. We were interviewing him for the Piston upcoming puzzle release. And now that the puzzle is released, I'm interviewing Felix yet again to uh, check out some new information that have came. Piston is a huge success, it's been already on Chris Ramsey's channel, Mr. Puzzle also uploaded it already, probably will be coming to Puzzle Guy's channel very soon as well. This is the longest sequential discovery puzzle from Felix Euro available to the large public. It's a seven stage sequential discovery puzzle, the objective is to find the brass ball and it weighs over one kilogram, which is insane. When I asked Felix what was his favorite thing about the puzzle, he says that it weighs a lot, which is amazing. <laughs> this is actually a combination between two puzzles that Felix has not released, two prototypes that he didn't think were good enough as a puzzle on their own, but together they made the piston, which is, according to experts, really brilliant and probably one of the best puzzles from Felix so far. Felix started off with a bang, really, his first puzzles were really successful, and I believe that from here on, probably every puzzle that Felix will release will be ahead. If you didn't see the interview with Felix on episode 1, I urge you to check it out because there is a lot more information about Piston back there. And some interesting information that I got from him now that I didn't have before is that first it took him hundreds of hours to design Piston. And actually Felix's way to design puzzles is very interesting. There were months where I'd be designing it in my head while doing other things. So it's hard to put a number on it for that reason. Even after conceptualizing it, there were hundreds more hours doing drawing, scan, prototyping, testing, etc. Which is all really part of the designing process. This is a huge, huge number of hours. Also there is a possibility, if you'd be interested in that, to make bespoke puzzles, to commission puzzles from Felix, so for example, he had some hammered titan and hammered hip flask versions. And you can also request a hammered piston puzzle if you'd be interested in that. The last time I spoke to Felix on Puzzle Insider, he said that he is planning a puzzle box. So it's not fully tested, but he thinks that the idea is cool. It's just whether it works reliably. And if it does, it will be a puzzle. And other than that, there are many new puzzles in various stages of development in my sketchbook, computer, and head. So once I'm finished designing one, I'll move on to the next partially completed design. There's a long, long queue of partially designed puzzles, so there's plenty more on the way, even if they take months or years to become a reality. So as you can see, Felix is here to the long run. He's here to stay. There's many new puzzles coming up from him probably in the next months, years. So stay tuned for that. And that was it for today's Puzzle Insider video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it. Smash the like and subscribe. Comment below the video if you'd like to see any specific articles on Puzzle Insider. I will make them specially for you. Thank you very much for joining us. And we'll see you guys in the next video.